Hi, I'm Alex Paulton. and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces. Today, I'd like to talk about this beautiful Hebdomus pocket watch. Um, Hebdomus is actually a uh, company that is still in existence, and they make really high-end, very expensive uh, watches, very Tony watches. This is a pocket watch from uh, literally the turn of the last century, around 1900, uh, 1905, something in that area. And uh, it was actually quite a uh, popular and famous watch. Uh, the company started around uh, 1888, and um, like I said, their watches became quite uh, popular. It's a little open here because I've already pre-popped the back because it's a pain to get it open, uh, and I didn't want to fumble on camera. But uh, this watch has uh, two very uh, beautiful, striking features. One is the uh, gorgeous open heart. It's a open uh, movement. So let me see if I can get this thing going. And uh, it's no small feat with this watch to get it going because it has such a large uh, barrel, such a large spring barrel. As you see, it was uh, the face is set up to be red sideways. It's got a relatively uh, slow beat, but basically the slower the beat, the larger a balance wheel you can use, which is why a lot of high horology watches go to uh, three beats, uh, because you can make a larger balance wheel. It's a more impressive looking movement. So uh, in this case, it's got a beautiful open balance wheel. It's got a lovely dial uh, set up so you can uh, do your 24-hour uh, time, you know, if you're a business person. Um, a lot of European businesses just use 24-hour time because it's less ambiguous. Uh, and it says there are eight days in two different languages. And uh, just a gorgeous piece. Now, eight days is a very, very, very long uh, power reserve, and you would ask, how can a watch like this have an eight-day reserve? Well, actually, it's because the barrel is about as big as the watch. You see? So there we go. There's the uh, barrel. It's this beautiful, huge uh, thing. And uh, if you look closely, let's see, we can zoom in a little bit. It says Anker. That's actually the core technology, um, eight days, eight days, and then uh, those are medals that the movement has won in horological competition. You see, so the Anker is a design, a movement design, and um, the Hebdura, oh, see, now I forget again, Hebdomus, I'm sorry, uh, the Hebdomus watch used this uh, beautiful and uh, novel huge barrel. So that's how you get eight days of reserve because your uh, barrel is so massive you could put eight days worth of spring in it. I've never wound this completely. Um, it would probably take forever to wind this thing completely. But then again, um, if you think about the time this was made, having a long power reserve was uh, an asset because, especially if you were traveling, unless you were in a town with a clock with a bell, you didn't know what time it was. Um, that's why you always see in movies when the clock tower rings in the old movies, all the old businessmen pull the watches out of their pockets and sync them because that's how everybody kept their watches synced. But if you traveled between small towns and some of those small towns didn't have uh, clocks, if you didn't have a good power reserve, you, run, you, get, you had a strong chance of, uh, say, for example, falling asleep, having your watch stop hours before you got up. And then in one sense, you were screwed if you had appointments. So by having an eight-day power reserve, you could set the watch and not worry about it for a week and still have good time and a nice presentation at that. The uh, Hebdomus watch company, as I said, uh, is still in existence today. And you can buy a modern version of this watch, but uh, it's I, can't, I, I don't even know how much the, it costs, but I'm guessing in the uh, five to six figures. Whereas 
this antique, you could pick um, other Hebdomus uh, antiques up online for about uh, two to three hundred bucks. So it's, I'm well, for a hundred year old watch, either that's very expensive or very cheap, depending on how you look at it as a collector. But uh, the bottom line is, is it's a beautiful piece. It's got a lot of history behind it and horological legacy. And I'm glad to be able to present it to you. So uh, this is Alex Paul for Talking Time Pieces. Have a great day.